Welcome back. Our next speaker is a pastor who has helped with humanitarian efforts in the Gulf region. We're involved in missions projects all over the world, really, and we've been real blessed recently to go down to Mississippi and Louisiana and take care of some folks down there. We've worked with uh, one church in particular down there and several neighborhoods. There's a Latino neighborhood that we got involved with and just taking some good things down so they can make it through this hard time. Give it up for Robert Rutherford. Hey, I'm Robert Rutherford, and if you think that's a hard name, look at this one, Publius Tarantius Afar. Born in 185 B.C., a Roman playwright, this guy, you probably don't know much about his work, but I bet you've quoted him before. He's the one who said, charity begins at home, but it doesn't have to end there. 24 years I've worked in charitable organizations, but this year, this week, I spent 24 hours on the streets as a homeless man, and I learned some things. As I stood in line waiting for our supper, I knew that a million people are homeless in America and 200,000 of them are children that have no place to lay every night. But I didn't know their names or their faces quite as well as I do now. I didn't know Tex or Big Country or Fast Eddie or Lenny the Loser. I didn't know the little woman that I met in front of LAPD who was asleep on the sidewalk. She woke up when we walked by and I said, hey honey, what's your name? She looked up, beautiful eyes, bright smile, no legs. She said, my name's Hope, and that's the only hope I got. You know, charity begins at home, but it doesn't have to end there. Jesus, the Savior of the world, homeless, no place to lay his head, but he made a difference everywhere he went. And you can make a difference everywhere you go. Think about that and understand that God's put a gift inside of you. Give them a gift. And don't just give a gift, be a gift. Charity begins at home but it doesn't have to end there. Thank you. Very cool references. Very cool. Bobby, first of all, it's so hard to critique all of you guys because all of you are doing such a good job. And so really, I don't know if I have anything to say other than this. Good job. Thanks, Bobby. Richard? Yeah, you knock me out, man. You do. You are the real deal. And your presence, your honesty, your just being who you are, is so abundantly clear. Brilliant stuff, dude. Brilliant stuff. Yeah. You've seen five. The votes are in, and our speakers are anxiously awaiting. It's time to see who will advance and who has to go. Everybody, I want to start by saying I think you all did a tremendous job tonight, and you all deserve a huge round of applause. Robert Rutherford, step forward, please. Robert, did you feel confident in your speech tonight? <laughs> I was a little nervous. Just a little nervous? Yeah. But confident. Good, because the audience gave you the most votes. You're advancing. Yeah. That's good.